All right, so I've got the batteries all hooked up. I've got the lines ran to both of the inverters, and I've already turned on inverter number one over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and test out inverter number two and see if I've got battery, enough battery power to turn this one on. Well, I didn't like that. All right, so today I'm trying to get the batteries to communicate with the inverters. So I've got all of the addresses set on the batteries with these dip switches right here. They all have to be separate. So I have six batteries. So I have address one through six and the user manual shows how to actually uh, set the addresses for the batteries. So this one is set to address number one. So the top battery is my master battery and this the next step is for me to change the protocol setting on the master battery to be EG4 so it will communicate with the EG4 inverters. Now to make sure that all these dip switches are in the on position, so I'm going to take this one and move it back over to on. Then in order to get the battery to recognize that I changed the address, I have to reset the battery. Now the battery will recognize its new address. All right, then I need to hold down the enter button for about five seconds. All right, so now the protocol setting has popped up and I can choose the RS-485, hit enter. And since I have EG4 inverters, I'm gonna select the P01 EG4. And these batteries are also, the battery mining systems also designed to work with a bunch of other different inverters like the Grow Watts, um, or Schneider, uh, and a couple other ones. Alright. So that's it. So now I will reset the address back to address number one. And reset the battery again. Alright, so I've got the RS-45 cable connected from the batteries to the inverter, so I'm going to go ahead and um, turn the breaker on for all the batteries, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the battery switches on and send power to the inverters from the battery. Now I'm going to turn the inverters on and they should be able to turn on just from battery power now. Alright, we're going to turn it on and see if the weller pump... Oh, Benji, go turn the hose on. It's off. Alright, well, Benji will turn the hose on and then we will see. Nice, it kicked on. Alright, so uh, the pump is running, which means that the well right now is running completely off of the solar system. So we've got 240 volts coming from the uh, shed all the way out of here, and it means that I hooked everything up right, and we have power at the well. And now it just shut off because it reached the, uh, the maximum pressure. All right, how much power we got? I don't know. Let's check.
Alright, so right now we only have 1.5 amps coming from the solar array, <laughs> charging the batteries. It's a cloudy a, a day. total of 318 watts. And we have five panels hooked up in series, so we should be able to get up to 2,000 watts. And we only have 318. <laughs> 